There are two types of people in this world. One type like to rip off a piece of that Kit Kat bar and eat that. The other type just bite the thing like it's a freaking chocolate bar and you can have your own way, but there's only one right way, okay? And today, we're gonna find out if we belong in that category that's right or the category that is wrong. God, I keep doing that, I'm so sorry. So BuzzFeed has this quiz where it shows two different types of people. Andrew and I are going to take that quiz. We're gonna each answer the way that we want to answer and we're gonna see which person we are. I don't really think there's a right or a wrong. I think there's just a, you could do it this way or this way. It's people, either you're the popular kid or you're the non-popular kid. No, that's not how it works. But technically. No. If you choose the option where the most people chose and you're the popular one. Mm. Yeah, I guess. But then you could say, well, I'm the unique one because yeah. I did it the different way. Exactly. But we're gonna hop into this thing. Be sure to follow along with us. Once again, shout out to BuzzFeed for coming up with this great quiz that we get to take right now. So let's do this thing. All right, so the first one we have is male with no notifications and male with 1,300 emails. Thousand. Yes. God, I'm so dumb. I know, I know what I am, and I know what Andrew is, yeah. and I know we're opposite. If Wait, before you do anything, try to guess who is who in this situation. Leave a comment below. We'll give you a second. We're waiting. We're waiting. All right, babe. Now, I am definitely this one right here, the 13,000 emails, because, bro, I don't check all of them, and I get spammed with so much crap. Like, I got, like, eight different no. emails. No, honestly, that can't even be an excuse because your texts are like that, too. You have, like, 400 unread text messages. Yes. It's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. If I have more than three unread things, I have to go through it all. Okay, well, sorry, Claire, that we're not as cool as you, okay? But I'm this person... Let's see which one is the better person here. <laughs> no, I'm unique. I'm unique, okay? Claire, the difference is Claire doesn't get text messages and she doesn't get emails, okay? I'm getting billions of emails and billions of text messages, okay? So that's the only difference here. So Claire's in the 63 percentile and I'm in the 37. Okay, well, whatever. All right, now I feel like this is the debate for the ages. Mm -hmm. This is a big debate. Mm -hmm. I know person, I, I like them both if I'm being honest okay. with you, but I know which ones I like better. Yeah, I, for these like I'm not a big Twizzler or Red fan, Red Vine fan, but if we're talking about the pull apart Twizzlers, no, we're talking about the picture that's shown. Okay, I know what I'm choosing. Three, two, one. Twizzlers. Red Vines. Wow. Okay, let's see which one's the winner. Yes. Red Vines are so much better. Twizzlers are just like waxy. They don't even have a lot of flavor to them. Red Vines are real licorice. Wait, now what? this one, um, I think is. Oh, it's the pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. Do you say Jif or Gif? GIF. I say Jif. GIF. You do not say GIF. I don't actually think I've ever heard Wait, you say Wait, are that. we talking about the peanut butter or are we talking about the GIF? That's how you, people say GIF In like GIF? GIF. Wait, so are we talking about the peanut butter or are we talking about the, the moving picture? The moving picture. Oh, I say GIF. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this is so confusing. I say GIF. Yeah, I say GIF. I don't know anyone that calls it an actual GIF, so I think we're going GIF, right? Yeah, for sure. Wow. Oh. I think, honestly, I think maybe people thought they were talking about the peanut butter. Yeah, I don't quite get the question. Yeah, so it is. It's pronounced GIF or GIF, and we said it's pronounced GIF. GIF. Which it is. It's not Jif. No. Get a clue. Yes. Okay? Yes. I know who I am. I know who I am. I'm, I think we're the same on yeah, this one. Yeah, who does that? I don't know, crazy people. <laughs> like psychos, right? Boom, this one. 87%, thank God. If of the million people or whatever that took this quiz, if more than like, okay, that's about right. That's one say. million votes on that. That's a that's lot a of lot of That's a lot of quizzes. Wow. Okay. This one's as relatable as the last one, bro. I am for sure the every five minutes. I'm actually like an every minute alarm mm -hmm. person. I have to set my alarm about 30 minutes before I actually have to get up mm -hmm. and I won't hear the first like five. Same. Same here. I'm definitely the right. I cannot believe people literally set one alarm and trust themselves to just get up and out of bed. I want to be able to sleep due to the fear that I'm like, if I snooze this, I'm done. If you say a time, I guarantee you, I already have an alarm like pre-May 4th. 456. AM or PM? AM. I have 454. Wait, I just want to show them how many alarms. 
<laughs> You're a psycho. I don't have that many. I do have a lot though. I have I have alarms a lot. But yeah, we're definitely both on the yeah. right, and I'm sure a lot of people are as well. Wow. That's very split. 50-50? 50-50? I mean, I hope people aren't lying when they're taking these quizzes. Like, bro, why is there why do you need a lie? I can't even get into this debate without getting heated. It is over. Why would you ever put the toilet paper under? I will literally never understand that. Ever. I will never get it. I'll never get it. Oh my gosh. To be honest, I don't care. Like, my main concern is if there's toilet paper or not. If yeah, you don't even put it on the thing. It can so be this vertically be, for all I care. The last, there should be one more picture. There's three types of people here. Over, under, and never puts it on the toilet paper holder. Mm -hmm. And you're the never puts it on the toilet hey. paper holder. But you so see what? You're this one here? Yeah. Wow, 77% yes. of people agree. And honestly, I think when I do this, I if I was to put the toilet paper on, I think I'm doing the where it's behind it, I think. Here's another good one. Bagels. Do you eat bagels with it like a sandwich where you put the cream cheese on and then you close it up? Or do you leave them open? Open? Open, because I feel like it makes you feel like you have more bagel. Mm -hmm. I want to savor every moment of the bagel that I'm eating. It's open. Yeah, it's definitely There's open. There's no question. It's definitely open. Yes, thank yeah, God. 76%. Thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, they get, they really get deep in these. Do you say Reese is or Reese ease? Wait, hold on. I have to think about it. Hold on. I got to like really put myself in the situation. I'm calling you. I'm at the store. I'm like, hey, babe, do you want to pick you up a Reese's? Reese's. Reese's. That's what I say. Reese's. I say Reese's. Not Reese's. Yeah, not Reese's. Wait, Reese's. this is the question though. This is where we get real deep in this. Did I spit on you? little bit. Do you say Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces? I say Reese's Pieces. Yeah, me too. Reese's Pieces, Reese's. Boom! 58 say Reese's. Wow. But I think it is. I think like the CEO of Reese's calls it a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mm. I think. I, I think I completely made that up. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know where you came from. I'm sorry. Ooh. What are you? Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Coke, for sure. Coke just has that burn, yeah. you know? It's got that burn. Yep, 74. Wow. wow, Pepsi needs to step up their game. But then again, Pepsi's got Mountain Dew. They got like the other good. Yeah, soda. that's true. They make up for it. Mm -hmm. Do you go drumsticks or you go flats? Flats. Flats for sure. hundred percent. Sure. I do not even understand how people could pick a drumstick over As a I've gotten older though, I do like the drumsticks as well. But I'm going flats if flats. I had to choose. Boom. Just like, what? 64%? I am shook. I'm shook it as well. Okay, wait, what is this what is weird? This what is this weird image we're staring at? Okay, wait, is this hold on. ITunes? Wait, let yeah, let's dissect what they're trying to say. Do you sort it by the art? I think it's all. Do you sort it by alphabet, alphabetically, or the by song, the or by artist? Alphabetically, song. I think I did. I think I did artist when I had really? iTunes. Yeah, but then again, I only had one artist on it, so it was pretty easy. Alphabetically for me is for sure. Okay, I think I'm going artist. Okay. I think that's how I would have done it. Um, my me immaculate name shaming. Name shnaming. What? Naming shnaming. I don't get it. I don't get it either. I know who Claire is. Claire even eats the metal tray. Andrew and I had this debate the other night and we got heated. Yeah, Claire. Claire's trying to convince me that the crust is the best part of pizza. I'm like, why wouldn't you just get bread then? You don't even gotta get the pizza. It's because cheaper. Because there's something about like the, the leftover marinara, the little bit of whatever was on the pizza that you get with the crust. How could people skip on crust? I will literally never understand if I could only eat crust. And not, I'm not saying bread. I'm literally just saying crust for the rest of my life i would that is the worst one i've ever heard in my entire life crust is horrible compared to the actual good part of the pizza but would you leave your tray with the crust on it like for me i'll eat the crust last so first i'll eat the cheese the pepperoni the green olives the sauce whatever it is and then if i'm still hungry after the 48 pieces i've mm -hmm. eaten then i'll go back to the crust which is the worst part but we'll click on this yeah. one for claire and 68% of people did. But see, that's not really asking. It's not saying, do you like the crust or not? But it's saying, do you eat the crust or leave the crust? And if you leave the crust, you don't like the crust. No, I don't eat the crust because I'm not hungry anymore. Because I ate all the good stuff. All right, so I think this is what this one is saying is if you play Mario Kart, Mario Brothers, is that like, you know. Super Mario yeah, Party? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Do you choose Toad or do you not choose Toad? I don't even get this. But I'm going not Toad. I don't choose Toad. I choose Koopa Troopa every single time. That's a very close debate. I feel like we don't know what we're talking about. I don't about. either. We have no clue what we're talking no about. No clue. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. I'm the right. If you don't cut the corn, the corn is so much better when it's cut off the cob. Literally so much better. But it's not like, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so much better. I honestly have to, uh, to disagree to a certain extent. Corn on the cob is very good if it's cooked right. And we made this one thing where you take like garlic chive cheese and you rub it on the side of the corn on the cob and it is so good. I'm going left. Woo! 
Off Let's the go, cuff, babe. so much better. And if you've ever had braces, you know it. I've had braces. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Wait, I gotta think. I, I'm the left. I'm absolutely wait, the let left. let me see. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. the left. Me and Claire are both the left. Boom, bada bing. 90%? Wow. That's okay, crazy. if you do it the other way, you're very rare. You're a very <laughs> rare species. Okay, I'm not as organized as the left, but I'm definitely not the right. Yeah, I, I'm not the Ugh. left or the right, but I'm more the left than the right because whoever's the right is a psycho. That's Boom. 50, wow, we're lower. A lot of people squeeze the tube. It's disgusting. There's, right. Yeah, there's not even, this is not even a question. Like, just you, do it, just do it. Yeah. Exactly, 90, exactly. Nine, that's the biggest one so far. That's the biggest That's huge, one. that's huge. Nutella with a knife or Nutella with a spoon? <laughs> that's pretty much just asking you, do you eat Nutella out of the can or do yeah. you spread it on something? You, you, put, you put Nutella on your bagel or you eat Nutella? I would I'm say going knife. Live. I'm going live. Yeah, knife, what? 50, 49% wow. eat it with a spoon. Wow. Yeah, I don't eat plain Nutella. I eat plain peanut butter. Yeah, she does. She's a psycho. <laughs> Even though I do it too sometimes. Oh, I'm both. both. I am heavy on both, but I would say mm -hmm. more on haha. -ha. Yeah, I feel like I say haha -ha more than that. I like start almost every sentence with like haha. Haha, -ha. <laughs> you're so funny. Oh my God, I miss you. But when you're texting, you're like this. If I actually laugh, I'll say I'm actually laughing right now. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah. You've never said that to me. Ha ha, it is 50 50. Wow. wow. And the final question of the quiz Are you an orange or a yellow starburst? On the count of three. Do you know? Yes. Three, two, one. Yellow. Orange. Oh my wow. God, Andrew. P people think pink is the best starburst flavor. I'm the going light pink orange. is really good, but honestly, I think the yellow is the best. You like yellow more than the pink? No. Yeah, see, that would be great. The light pink for sure is the best but then i would say second is yellow i feel like a lot of people don't even like the yellow starburst but i'm going orange let's see which one wins this could be 50 50. i think it's orange 66 percent let's freaking go well there you guys have it you guys learned a lot about your favorite youtube couple claire and drew you guys have learned what type of people we are and i hope you learned what type of people you are as well are you guys followers of most of the people in this world or are you guys the unique ones that do it different okay let us know i'm just impressed with how buzzfeed really like they you know, they nailed it with this one. The yeah. couple of them, like, I would have never thought about it. Like, yeah. the Starburst, but that's, like, a real debate. Or the smiley face one. Yeah. Crazy. Whoa. The only thing I didn't get was a toad. I don't, I still don't get what that means. But make sure before you guys leave to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Are you this or this? This. This one here. Anyone that goes, I think I used to do this, like. Yeah, her MySpace picture. No, I used to be. This is the real debate. This. Remember, what was that when people used to do the limp one? Goodbye. I thought you were saying the question was, do you love him or you do hate him? No, <laughs> I'm not an idiot.